I'm a journalist for Freewheeling Magazine. Well, I'm actually the editor of Freewheeling Magazine. So I've been a bike journalist now for six years. Well, the Daryl Beatty adventure was, uh, I mean, it was an adventure. <laughs> like there's, that's probably the underscore word. I mean, I'm having an adventure with these flies at the moment. But uh, the, uh, the ride was fantastic. Like we, we were now on the last night, so we've had a really good scope of where we've been. And I mean, going from into Fink, um, man, I'm just getting massacred here. Phew. Oh. Yeah, so the run into Fink uh, was great because I always wanted to see the Fink track. And uh, once we uh, got to have a bit of a squirt on it and really give you an idea of how, how tough those boys are that do it. Um, but then, you know, the French line was great. Uh, the French line was, was challenging. And I think with that, that kind of, this, this style of adventure, you know, it's not, you're not going for a coffee. You know, you're riding dirt bikes out in the middle of the desert and I've certainly never been this far out. I've been to the edge of the desert a couple of times in various states, but not, not like this. And um, yeah, I thought it was just fantastic. And so I think more than anything, what it's done is improved my riding um, more than anything. But the scenery has been amazing. The people have been great. It's been a really well run tour. Well, I wasn't thinking that was the problem. Um, <laughs> I certainly didn't expect it to go the way it did, put it that way. <laughs> I mean, at least somebody got it on camera. Um, I mean, I'm certainly not, I mean, even though I do a lot of different bikes, I'm not this kind of bike fit, and that I think is a big thing. Um, you, you, you've got to be, you've got to be at a certain fitness level, otherwise you're just going to, you're not going to have fun. Um, you've got to, you've got to make sure that you can handle Big, big hours on the bike. I mean, today when the heat sort of really hit, uh, whipped itself up, like that was uh, that was a big thing as well. And people getting tired, we're stopping a lot, and, and of course that then slows down your overall speed. But I mean, I thought that the terrain was was excellent, and um, the WAA line that was a uh, that was another uh, really good track, and uh, it was. I walked out of. I've been I've been so lucky to get invited on this, which is what I have been. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm going to be writing a story on it, but I mean, there's, I, I've done a couple of tours before, but a lot of them have had pitfalls here and there. This thing really has been, I, I, I don't, I hesitate to use the word faultless because, you know, that's that's a pretty strong thing. But I mean, for a first up tour, this thing's just been fantastic. The, the food's been outstanding. Uh, you know, the fact that you can have a shower is a great thing. The fact that you've got really nice comfy beds to sleep in, that, those are three of the biggest things because you know you can ride your backside off all day but if you've got to go and sleep and sleep in the dirt and you know you eat canned baked beans for dinner it sort of ruins your motivation a bit whereas you can see how much the guys love it and how much they want to show up and tour so it rubs off I think. This is real Australia as well you know like uh, I think Cape York would be good and and the Kenning Stocker, it would be amazing as well. But for me, the sort of that sort of Simpson Desert thing, that's real Australia. And I mean, I've seen stuff uh, just on this ride that you know you just don't think that you, well, you just don't see. And and this, like the sunrises have just been phenomenal, and people have been great. The group's been great. It's been a good dynamic, good speed with the group too. No one's been too fast or too slow. Um, just had an amazing time here. Yeah. So if I ever get a chance to go again, I'll be here with bells on. Thank you.